Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, getting ready to rip a box of 1993 Marvel masterpieces. I've done 92 on this channel, and just yesterday we did some. Well, that seal already broke. Hmm. <laughs> Hope that's not a bad sign. Uh, yesterday we did some Uncanny X Men, the uh, Jim Lee set. Um, but I want to get into this today and see if uh, we can find some cards in decent condition. They've got a really, really bad track record of just bricking together and being in just terrible condition after all these years. Uh, so I'm kind of expecting that, that they're just not going to be worth anything once we open it. But I'm looking forward to it regardless. Uh, first things first, I'm going to take a quick second to uh, uh, send out some invites. This is a live stream. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. So I want to invite some people to watch it. So bear with me for a second while I send out some links and uh, we'll start opening. If you're watching this recorded, you can just fast forward like 30 seconds probably. I've got two more boxes of, of these, so my thought process was, you know, I bought at kind of a lower price point, so I'm going to rip one, hope for the best, and then, you know, I still have two left over I can kind of cover my losses with if this turns out to be bad. Right. One more second, I promise. Cool. Let's open some cards. Again, I'm not uh, crazy optimistic about the condition of these. I've not talked to a single person who's opened these recently and has had a good experience. But you never know. I don't even know while I was pulling out the box cutter, the seal's already breaking on this thing on its own. The I don't know what to expect as far as the nostalgia factor with this set. I was more of a... Oh, there is actual seal that I have to open here. I was more of a 92 and 94 Masterpieces guy. I don't... Honestly, there's one thing that stands out in my memory from being a kid about 93... It was the Wolverine card that's a really unorthodox art. And I was never really in love with it <laughs> as a kid. Maybe I'll, I might have a, uh, a... Someone tried to type something and it got retracted. Sorry, Jim, I didn't see whatever you put. Or maybe you didn't want me to see whatever you put. I don't know. Either it got auto-filtered auto because uh, of... A bad word, or uh, you deleted it. But either way, I didn't see it. Sorry. These feel bricky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell that without opening them. But it feels like it's just one. What's going on, man? This just feels like it's one giant brick of cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are incredibly bricked. But that first one peeled off not terrible. So I'm, I don't know. We're not going to worry about it yet. So first, let's uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. Strife. So Jusco. I don't think Jusco does the art on all of these. I think they've... So with 92, Joe Jusco did the entire set. And you see his auto right there. And I don't think he does the entire... Oh, that one's really stuck. That one sounded really bad. <laughs> Interesting rogue card here. Looks like she's being locked on and targeted by. Uh, we're like three cards in. <laughs> Long shot. I'm trying to look. I'm like looking around the camera at the same time, trying to gauge condition. 
I don't think we're seeing too much damage from the bricking yet, but you can... Oh, man, I hope the venom's not screwed up. You could hear that one, maybe, how loud it was. Yes, sir, chef. Yeah, so that definitely tore up the, the face of that card. You guys may not be able to see it. I don't know if I can catch it in the light. Like, right in the middle of the ring light right now. Uh, this is one of the cards I was looking most forward to, is this Venom, but it definitely... That bricking just ruined it. Probably. I'll set it aside and look at it later. This back card was not bricked at all. A nice Archangel. Look how jacked Arch Archangel is in this one. It's not your typical... I don't, I don't feel like that's your typical look at Archangel. Yeah, it is, uh, Loopy. When I talk about the cards being bricked, that's what I'm referencing, how they're all stuck together like one brick. Hey, Josh, what's going on, man? So, yeah, you can see, like, these cards... Well, these these don't seem to be that bad. These are actually kind of coming apart easily. You know, I don't know. We're gonna. It's going to be hit or miss, I imagine. That's two cards at once there. Whoa, that Magneto is ridiculous. I kind of don't like it, though, because there's no border. It makes his helmet look gigantic. At first glance, you're like, wow, that's a great card. And then the more I look at it, the more I don't think I like it very much. <laughs> uh, it looked to be in really good shape, though. That storm is interesting. Also bricked with another card. Two more cards. Puma. Ooh, nice Thor. Wow, that Thor is really nice. I don't know how to judge centering on these, really. This Thor, like you can see, how top, how it looks like it's really thin on top compared to the one next to it. So I'm guessing the Thor's fairly off center. I don't know. Terax. Don't know that guy. Like the pain dry stuff at Home Depot? Uh, I don't know about that. I've heard people come up with all kinds of creative solutions because, you know, these cards are all covered in wax, right? So I guess the wax at some point is kind of bonded together. So some people have said that uh, a hair dryer on low will kind of heat it up and let it release a little bit. I've also heard the exact opposite, where people have put them in the freezer, and that supposedly have, has helped before. Uh, really nice thing card, though. I'm not, I'm not super disappointed with the conditions of these, though. Beta Ray Bill, I have no idea who that is. Just because they're semi-bricked is not necessarily an overall bad thing. Well, this is a beautiful card. Oh, so this is a foil card. The, so there's a, there's a small chase in this set, a foil set. It's X-Men 2099. I don't think there's anything tremendously popular in it, but it is, an, it is the foil, like five or six card set or whatever the number is. I know that's not very informative for people watching this. I apologize. But this is one of them. Yeah, if it's from the bottom of a case, exactly. Yo, know, Smalls, I know you like uh, watching in the, uh, you know, being a part of the X-Men stuff every now and then, so I figured I'd just give you a shout-out. Uh, and see if you wanted to watch. No big deal. But I'm doing 93 Marvel Masterpieces and, uh, and hoping these cards aren't bricked too badly. Obviously, I'm looking for a really nice Spider-Man. That's a, that's a pretty cool blade. Looking for a cool Spider-Man. Um, I'm looking for a cool anything. Anything that looks good art-wise, but, you know, Spider-Man, Wolverine, like the super popular characters. I think there's a Deadpool in here, right? I don't have a checklist. I wanted to do this without a checklist because I thought it'd be more fun just to be surprised by the cards as I pull them. Nice Adam Warlock. It's interesting the very the, how Carnage and Deadpool. Yeah, that was my comment on Deadpool yesterday. Blah, blah. Bloodhawk and Mean Streaker sick cards. There's a huge variation between, since it's not just one artist doing all these cards, you get some really, really different artwork. Like this, this artist is the one who does the Wolverine I was talking about. And I think I used to hate the Wolverine when I was a kid. And I don't know, we'll come up with a new opinion of it when I see it again today. But I remember it vaguely just being like Wolverine on acid, kind of. But I really like this Hulk. I think the Hulk looks fantastic. 
and uh, I'll probably I'll inspect it to see if it's gradable, but it sure is sticking a lot to this next card. Can you hear that? I'm gonna put it in the microphone. <laughs> Rip. Vulture. That's a really pretty card. I like the minimalist approach to this. Curious if you guys agree or disagree. I imagine Vision has increased in popularity right now. Uh, oh man, that's Bill Sinkovitz art. I don't know who that is. Red Skull. Not a bad Red Skull. Bill, Bill that guy. So I assume you're talking about this, right? Yeah, I can see his, sorry, this the focus went out, but I can see his auto there, so yeah. Is he the same one who did the uh, the Hulk as well? He did Vulture and Hulk art. Is he the one who does that crazy Wolverine, or no? Doctor Strange has a nice card in here. What's up, Cruz? Jusko again, a nice looking art. These are badass. I like Jusko stuff. Ooh, this one is stuck. To Typhoid Mary. Ooh. That's nice looking. Darkhawk. The surfaces look alright given... I'm just, sorry, uh, Chef. I'm going back and seeing your comment. At a glance, they do look okay. I'm not... I'm not freaking out yet. So this is the... Uh, the, the, the package character. The Spider-Man 2099. There might be some value in that with the Spider-Verse movies. Nice. Another thing. Oh, here's the Spider-Man that I want. Uh, uh. You can just hear it tearing, tearing my heart. Oh, it's ruined. A huge line right down the middle of it. Right down. You can feel it. You can see it. Son of a gun. Of course it was Spider-Man. Of course. That's like the card. You see all like the little white specks that's not that aren't supposed to be there? Just rip it right in half. Of course it was Spider-Man. PSA 10 is probably like $500 of that card. <laughs> Well, this pack is going to be a pain to open, I'm afraid. For some weird reason, I used to try to draw Cyber a lot as a kid. I know that's got to, got to be the most random guy to try to draw. I guess maybe because he's fairly easy. Ravage 2099. Beast! Can't use a blow dry to, yeah. So that's a thought that you can do that. We, I was talking about that, that talking about that just a few minutes ago. Obviously, I've decided to just brave it for better or for worse. Interesting, Captain America. Good condition. Nova. I've got two more, two more boxes of these. Nice ass Ghost Rider. That Ghost Rider is awesome. Oh, sorry, it's Vengeance. Cool ass card though. Um, I do have two more boxes of these. The thought process originally was buy three, open one, and I've kind of protected myself from taking too much loss because I can always sell the wax as it appreciates. I don't know what these are now. I bought these pretty cheap. They've probably doubled since I bought them. Nice Jean Grey. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Is that your guy again? The Sabretooth art? They kind of... I don't know. I don't love the face there. Creeping to... Oh, these are only 200 a box? That's not bad, actually. That's still pretty low, I think. Considering this is the second run of Marvel Masterpieces and 92, the first run, is going for like 800 to 1,000. That's a very unique Doctor Doom, and I love it. Love that. Captain Britain. 
Thanks. <clears throat> I heard somebody say the other day to keep an eye out for uh, Fantastic Four related stuff. I guess they have something on the way. Some new media of some type on the way, whether it's a movie or show or something, right? Interesting uh, take on Nightcrawler. I don't hate it. It's like an oil painting of Nightcrawler. Another Morbius. Another Blade. You can feel where that one... Sorry. I... Fox is doing a show for Fantastic Four? Okay. Doom 2099. Omega Red. That's a good art, though. I like the Omega Red. More than I thought I would. And there's Human Torch, speaking of Fantastic Four. The same artist, obviously, who did that Captain America. Exact same style. These boxes take forever to rip when cards are bricked like that, because you have to be so careful going card to card. I'm, I've not, I've barely made a dent in this thing. That's a really cool Falcon. That's awesome. Like that guy that, that does that card. Wow. Yeah, that's ruined. The Falcons are terrible. Gambit! Pretty ruined. You can feel where they've bricked right there. Love Gambit, though. Nice Psylocke. There's a Black Widow. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, they're pretty much all in the same spot. It's right in the middle where everything tends to stick. What serial number was this box? 241,312. Punisher 2099. I want to get to that Wolverine. Oh, a checklist. Hulk, Human Torch, Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Cyclops, Doctor Strange, Namor... Storm, Silver Supervision, Ghost Rider Thing, Captain America, Ar Archangel Beast, Cable, Carnage, Hulk, 2099, Doctor Doom, Daredevil, Iron Fist, Psylocke, Morbius, Punisher, Rogue, Sabretooth, Ford, She-Hulk, Gambit, U.S. Agent, Spider-Woman, Strife, Thanos, Blade, and a Warlock, Colossus, Magneto, Vulture, Spider-Man, 2099, Punisher, Doom, Ravage, Venom, Domino, Annihilus, Rhino, Puma, Cannonball, Polaris. Okay. Rip. God, look how bad the condition is on this daredevil. <laughs> wow, that is bad. Spider Woman's a cool card. Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man wasn't even on that checklist I just re read. Right? Oh, because there's a whole other side to it, you dumb idiot. I'm not going to read it. War Machine. I loved War Machine growing up. Same condition as everything else, sadly. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's going to... I don't think I really even need to worry about inspecting any of these cards. If I ever find one that I can feel the fa face of and it's not beat all the hell, then maybe. But it's really only going to be the first card of each pack that's not... And even then, the back of it probably is. Deathlock. I think I had like a Deathlock action figure. That's another really obscure one. Cannonball. Wasp. Wasp was cool. Just terrible condition. Thanos, what a badass. Would be a tremendous card if... Oh, actually, I don't feel anything on this one. Huh. Looks like bad corners, but the surface is clean on this one. Yeah, there's nothing on this one, but I, I do see. You can I don't know if it'll show up on video well, but the corners are showing some whiting a little bit. 
No. I mean, those white lines are where the paint has literally been pulled off the card. Like, the surface of the card has just been pried off. There's nothing to clean. It's just been ripped off. It's a cool cable. Thunderstrike. Was that Thor's dad? Old, old man Thor? Havoc? Havoc's always cool. There we go. One of my very favorite cards from this whole set. The Jusco Carnage. Obviously, I don't even have to touch it. You guys can see the line going down the middle from here. Awesome card, though. Yeah, you'll probably not see a lot of new graded versions of this. From what I understand, this is just how they all are now. So, if you happen to have an old one that doesn't have all the lines. Jusco did Deadpool as well. Damn. He did some of the best cards in this. Uh, Deadpool might not have those. The Deadpool, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and sleeve this one. I don't, I'll need to inspect it. This will just let me know later to go back and look at this one. Because I don't feel it, I don't see it. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying with the Blood Splatter comment, yeah. Bishop, we still haven't seen Wolverine yet. Another Domino. Another Magneto. I feel it. Puma. Another Thor. I feel it. <laughs> wah, wah. Sad about it, but what are you going to do? Obviously, my hope was just to get a decent condition Spider-Man and Wolverine. My Spider-Man was one of the worst cards I've pulled yet, so. Hulk 2099. That's a just a weird character. I like the art. I just think, you know, that's a weird looking Hulk. Black Knight. It's kind of like Nova with a sword. Ooh, Kingpin. Classic Kingpin, am I right? Annihilus. Ooh, Colossus. The bad cards, for whatever reason, don't seem very affected. Well, unless I drop them like that, you big dummy. Oh, this is Ghost Rider. Wow, what a card. That it looks like there's a crease down the middle. Yeah, this card's creased. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's a really cool looking card. Oh, God, this thing is practically glued together. And it's the freaking Wolverine. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be kidding me. I know, man. It's all it's always my favorite guards that are just the absolute worst. That's a crazy Wolverine. Kill the box. I hated this card when I was a kid. It's growing on me more as an adult. But I was like, what? Infant drew that crappy Wolverine. Phoenix? Wow. That is a nice card. Really cool card. Night Thrasher. Ooh, there's a Hawkeye coming. Why is he in Hollywood? It's like a storyline with him. He's not in New York like every other. Or a fake version of New York like every other superhero. What haven't we seen yet? We haven't seen Cyclops. Iron Man is coming up. That's a big one, obviously. It's kind of creased in the middle, too. Interesting. The Iron Man is one of the best ones, for sure. That's a great card. 
beautiful. Of course, it's stuck to a Doctor Strange. Wow. That's a really cool card. Just in terrible shape, though. I assume that means the back of that Iron Man is terrible as well. Yeah. Man. I went into this thing, you know, expecting this, right? It doesn't make it any easier to deal with when you see all these really cool cards that you like that are just in trash condition. There's Abomination. That's pretty cool. And again, that Vulture card that I really like. Oh, Doctor Strange was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It was stuck to Iron Man. So, you can see it right down the middle if you look. I mean, you never know. There's always a chance there's like one cool card that's in good condition. The Deadpool, like the Deadpool might be, it might be, Metalhead. Yeah, just giant stripe down the front of it. <laughs> Omega Red. Human Torch. It's got a, looks like it's cut in half. Can you see that huge line that goes across the middle of it? Looks like someone got that one with a, uh, a razor. And then Cable. The back cards are usually... So the front cards are hit or miss. The back cards are actually usually in fairly good shape for whatever the reason. Anything else, though. If it's not front or back, it stands zero chance. And if it's on the front, it stands like, I don't know, 25% chance. Scorpion. Another Strife. Another Rogue. The Rogue's not bad. Maybe. Well, I see a dimple in it already, so... Even if there's no... Surface damage. It still sucks. A Great Venom. Probably ruined. Yep. Man, that's just such a cool card. And Archangel. I grabbed a comic the other day that I thought had a really cool cover on it. Let me see if I... Yeah. Getting off track a little bit. But I thought the cover art on this, this variant cover on this Wolverine was really interesting. You can see like Venom in the reflection of the claws. It's the, it's called, it's called like a black light variant, I guess. But I thought that was a pretty cool cover. I don't know, I was just thinking about Venom. Totally off topic. It's a comic. It's just a variant cover. Ooh, here's Silver Surfer. I forgot we hadn't seen him yet. Very cool card. If this one could pry loose gently, not gonna happen. God, that just ruined that card. The original cover was Wolverine with Hulk in the claws, yeah. I've got some, uh... Ooh, here's Cyclops, finally. Damn, that's a really good one, too. Really good Cyclops. Terrible condition. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one before. Oh, I love that Vulture card. Yeah, we've got some big comic guys in SEI. That I joined my breaks. I know Anorak and his crew are the experts. I zoom back in too hard. Lilith. Good one. There's US Agent. Uh, so that's just Captain America, huh? I really love this Falcon. That's one of the better cards in this set to me. Whoop.
We'll check that one out. There's Remy LeBeau. See, I know a thing about comics. That thing being Gambit's name. <laughs> it's probably not even his name anymore. There's probably like a new Gambit. He probably died and there's like... <laughs> some just new version of it, right? Black Widow. I'm just casually going to feel every card to see if the surface is shredded or not. It's the first Mystique I think we've pulled. That's a really great one. Really cool card. And that stupid Punisher 2099. I don't know if there's a card we haven't yanked yet. I am hoping to get a second Spider-Man, though. Nightcrawler. We've gotten like 18 Morbius. If I could just get a second uh, Spidey, I wouldn't hate it. A lot of Omega Red. Another Human Torch. I'm just going to have to look these over with a magnifier just to see how bad they really are. I'm sure if it's tangible, it probably doesn't matter how visible it is if you can feel the imperfection. Sasquatch! <laughs> Our first look at Sasquatch. Sorry, Adam Warlock. This is the worst card yet. Condition-wise, this is the worst one. Uh, every year of, of Masterpiece, Loopy. 92 bricks, 93 bricks, 94 bricks. Look how bad this one is. That's not part of the solar system. That is just missing paint. Vulture. Oh, that vulture's clean. Not a very popular character, so I don't think that's really worth inspecting. Although he was in a movie, so you never know. Yikes. Yeah, I did, for sure. Anorak, if you're still watching, you said that, that that comic originally had Hulk and the Claws. I don't even know what the comic is. Like, I literally bought it because I like the art. Do you know what book it is? That's Iron Fist. Typhoid Mary. We didn't stop and look at this one last time. I think it was just too bad a shape, but that's also a nice card. Is that supposed to be grass? Like, what is that background? I guess grass. We're going to go with grass. Dark Hawk. It's a nice one. Spidey 2099. Another decent thing. Hulk 341. This guy just knows it all. There we go. It was the back card, so there's hope. There's hope. There's hope. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Hulk 340. I wonder if you guys... <laughs> Let's do a little experiment here for YouTube. If there's any chance you can see through my, like, microscope. Or my, you know, magnifier. Nope. Well, kind of. I gotta get it, like, really close. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, give me a second. I'm gonna take this card away and look at it real quick. Mm, it looks pretty dimpled. Unless, just, unless that's just how every card happens to look, I would say it looks, under magnification, pretty terrible. But we'll revisit it because it's Spider Man. Ah, oh, just a regular ass Punisher, not the stupid 2099 one. But man, did they give him some forehead. A lot of Frank Castle forehead. That's a shame. I think that's otherwise a pretty cool card. Damn, that one's ruined in the back. Cyber. Ravage. Beast. Cap. 
Yeah, you can see that one. And Nova. We're almost done. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> There's a lot more than it seemed like. Still like 10 packs left. Still like 10 packs left and a chance to hit something in decent condition. Although, that's obviously a, a bit of a pipe dream at this point. I don't know. I'll come back with a different update later once I've really taken some time to check these cards out. I like the Colossus. Cannonball is a good looking card. Jesco, of course. If I had one box, would I have ripped it? Yeah. Oh, that's a, just a chunk taken out of the card down there. That spot at the bottom is just like completely peeled back, I believe. Yeah, if I had one, I would just because this is fun for me. The The nostalgia alone is worth it. Now, you ask me that like a year from now or six months from now, if these things triple in value, then I might, <laughs> I might change my tune. I can't even pull these things apart. U.S. agent's not bad. We'll set that aside. Uh, after seeing how they stick, just hold. Uh, I get a different box. It's less bricky. Yeah, so... Marvel Universe is less bricky. So Marvel Universe Series 1, being the price that it is, may not be the best play if you can't afford it. So maybe Marvel Universe Series 2 would be a move for that. They don't brick as bad as Masterpiece, for sure. And I've got two, no, I've got three tens. I've got three tens of Marvel Universe Series 2. That'll be a video coming next week. I'm not going to do that this weekend, but I am going to. So we'll be able to do that t together too and see how that goes. Tens usually suck for <laughs> uh, quality, but not always. Look at the line down the middle of that beast. Holy cow. Another cap. Huge line down the middle. Nova again. Hoping for... I guess a Wolverine at this point. Hercules. Oh, that card wasn't stuck at all, so this Jean Grey might actually be decent. Yeah, that Jean Grey is super clean on the front. Let's see how it is. Ugh, the back. I don't know. That Jean Grey might actually be clean. Sabretooth, not clean. Love that Doctor Doom. That's such a unique card for him. Yikes. That I would like to, uh, I'd like to have one of those graded, but I don't think mine are going to make the cut. I'm thinking about ripping another box of X-Men, of Jim Lee X-Men, that I ripped yesterday. They were in good condition, mostly. And I would like a Gambit Hollow, which I did not get. So I think I'm going to do another box of those at some point. Damn it. I love that carnage. That bums me out that that one's in bad shape. She-Hulk. And just rip that Deadpool in half. Yeah, that Deadpool's in terrible shape. You can see it really bad on the bottom there. Maybe I need to do a giveaway or something. <laughs> if people just want them for PC. Ugh. So stuck together. All right. We're on the home stretch now. We're really just hoping and praying for a card that I like in decent condition. I think I've pulled about everything. Oh, Thanos. It was the back card. So it's in better shape than most.
All right, we're going to look at this one later. So you can hear the them. I don't even have to put it next to the mic. Like <laughs> you can hear them without me doing that. That wasp is super clean too. Question is, is anybody uh, <laughs> like 4D audio? Does anybody care about the wasp enough to buy a graded wasp? Because some of these I would be grading with the sole intent to try to profit off of. Some of them would not leave my collection. This pack is not super bricky. So we might get lucky with that Magneto. See, it didn't stick to that storm at all. It did not stick to that storm a bit. Oh, that one did though. Ooh, Thor is the back card. The th back cards usually are better. Oh, but I can feel it. And I can see it. Son of a gun. Sasquatch. Little Adam Warlock. Is he ever going to be part of the Guardians movies? Or it all involved Rhino? A nice Hulk. Oh, actually, if it's not too sticky on the back. All right. We got to look at this Hulk later. It's got a chance. Vulture has no chance. This vision has a chance as well. We're getting somewhere. In the credits, he was? Do I not really not remember that? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You're like creating him in a pod, right? Is that what is that the right am I making the right reference? Uh <laughs> Forge, sorry Forge, you're in bad shape. Hulk 2099, I don't care anyway. Black Knight. Kingpin. Bad shape. Annihilus. Alright, come on, baby. Give me one. Give me one more Wolverine, bub. You think anybody would give a shit about one of the uh sorry, I try not to cuss a lot on YouTube. Um Care about the Spider Man's? This one's Got a huge crease down it. Just wonder if the Spider Man 2099 would have any sort of demand. I'm guessing probably not. There's another uh, foil Serpentina. <laughs> Youch. Yeah, it is. It's like that for me, too. I promise. Havoc. Another Carnage. But it's the back car. Oh man, it's got a huge line down the middle of the back. Just like it's basically creased. I'll look at it, but I'm not going to sleeve it. Cards that I would love to get in an okay condition out of these last three packs would be Spider Man, Venom, Wolverine, I think off the top of my head, or Iron Man. That's got a chance. Uh, looks like a bum corner, though. Uh, maybe. On Doctor Strange, maybe. Drax! Did we already pull Drax? Did I miss Drax earlier? Wow, terrible shape. Abomination, who cares? Vulture number 18. Yeah, I can feel that. We'll look at it. Are you planning to grade anything that isn't beat up? So, absolutely. If I go through this and I find anything that's kind of a name brand character that I think has a chance... 
I will 100% grade it. No questions asked. That feels terrible. Spider Woman. It's a very cool card. Absorbing Man. War Machine. Polaris. Very last pack. Maybe we'll get lucky. Last pack mojo. Sometimes that works with sports cards. Does it work with comic cards that are 30 years old? <laughs> Ghost Rider. Very clean face. Has a chance. Uh, soft corners, probably. The top, both top corners, maybe. We'll look later. Wolverine feels rough down here at the bottom. But not, like, crazy bad. It's worth looking at. At least got to give it a once over. Oh, wait. There's a chunk missing. <laughs> That's a big piece missing right there. That white speck. I don't know how I missed that. It's like I wasn't looking for the most obvious issue. Phoenix. Feels bad. Yikes. Night Thrasher. Hawkeye. And a Puma. So that'll do it. Um, we will see. I mean, it's it's for the most part, it's about what I expected. I went into this knowing that these were really bad bricks. Um, that held true. They were extremely bricked. The vast majority, if not the entire box, is damaged. Um, so informative, if nothing else, right? If you're thinking about buying these and you're watching this video, if you've made it 47 minutes, uh, if you fast forwarded to the end of this video to hear my ending thoughts, um, I don't think I could ever recommend buying a box of these to open. I just couldn't. Unless you know of a fail-proof way to unbrick bricked cards, because they're bricked. Uh, you'd be rolling the dice heavily. Um, thanks to everybody who's watching. If anybody actually made it with me for 48 minutes, you're uh, an absolute angel. You really... Uh, uh, help to keep me company. It'd be hard for me to do a video like this with nobody to talk to. Um, I don't do all that well talking to myself. So <laughs> thanks a lot. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> and um, what was I going to say? Oh, next week. Next week, we're going to do Series 2 Marvel Universe cards. And I think I'm going to do a box of 94 Masterpiece because I loved that set when I was younger. Um, it's a huge risk because it's, it's a much more expensive set and it also bricks. So I might be just throwing 300 bucks down the drain if I do it, but I think I want to do it. <laughs> uh, thanks so much guys. I'm done talking. I promise. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.